Okay, in the last video we put together the declination axis uh, and I showed you how to put that together. And then there was a short addition showing how to set the what we call a preload on that declination axis there where making sure that things are tight but not too tight. Now we're going to do the right ascension axis. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to skip some steps quickly because I realize that you don't want to sit here and watch me put grease on all these individual parts. And uh, that takes a lot of time. So here's what we have. These are the parts. So we have the last two fiber washers. There's the, the large one and the smaller one. These are the thinner ones. We have the plastic washer here. We have our large uh, ring nut. The right ascension worm wheel. Right ascension axis. Declination housing. Right ascension housing. And this is the right ascension setting circle. So one of the things that I've done to start off with, here's a good way to kind of set this up is have this vertical. I've started putting this smaller fiber uh, disc on the shaft. I've already greased it. And what I've learned is these can tighten up over time. So it just takes a bit of work getting over the threads here out of the shaft. That goes all the way down against the, uh, the mount there. The worm itself here, I put some grease on this surface so it sits it sits in like this. So this is where the, that fiber washer is going to sit. The other fiber washer actually comes out here on the outside of the worm. And again, it can be a little bit tighter now. So you just got to kind of work it on. There we go. And uh, we'll slide that down to there. And that's been greased on both sides. The worm wheel has been greased. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some grease on the shaft here real quickly. It really doesn't need very much. It really only needs to be about the bottom inch. But while we're putting the worm wheel on, it'll drag some grease with it. And it never hurts to have a little bit of grease in these open areas. Um, so grease that up. Worm wheel just slides right down. And give it a good, a good push down so we know that they set that uh, that bottom fiber washer in place. So you can give it a spin to test. A little bit of stickiness from the grease, but that's what you want to feel. It should feel pretty smooth. Okay. So now, these parts all go on the outside. So we're going to put our shaft and our access together. So this fiber washer... It's going to contact this surface. So in fact, we can just put a little bit of grease on there. Just a little bit. And run it with our fingers. So the two shafts just come together. And give them a good spin. Make sure they feel good. So now we have our mount upright. Okay. So you'll remember that on the end of the shaft we had this poly washer. And then we had our nut, our, our ring nut. And so you want to make sure that these holes for the spanner wrench are on top. And this should just thread right on pretty nicely. You remember when I took it off, there's a lot of turns. So this should just, you should be able to just spin it on quickly. If it binds up, uh, then get your spanner wrench out first. But for right now, you should be able to get quite a few turns on it. Uh, just so it's down there a bit. So now here's our whole assembly together, okay? And we can see at this point there's still a lot of slop in the assembly because we haven't touched anything yet. So the housing can sit pretty nicely, kind of oriented like this. Get your spanner wrench back out. And we're going to give these, give this ring nut several turns. And depending on how when it tightens up, we'll see. There we go. So now it's feeling tighter. It takes a bit of work. Now, this assembly now is quite a bit tighter. For example, it, well, it kind of sits, it'll move on its own weight, but it's not completely loose. 
but there's no play. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wrench, my spanner wrench here, and let's try loosening it just a bit. There we go. So from where we are, let's go loose maybe an eighth of a turn. To there. Now, this is completely floppy. And if I take the two pieces and try to pull them apart and together, I don't feel any motion or hear it. So, but this might be just a little too floppy. So let's take our wrench and we'll go back half of that distance. Just about that much. This is still pretty loose. It's not completely flopping around like it felt like maybe it was too loose. So this is probably a good location to be at. So now to tighten this ring nut, remember there's set screws in there. So let's get our set screw wrench and uh, it's hard for you to see but there's one right here. And again there's this hole on the side. So put your wrench right through the hole you can get right into that set screw. And go ahead and turn each of these down until you just feel it contacting. Depending on how loose you made them before, it might take a bit of turn because like I said, remember they, they go that whole length. So just give them a few turns until you feel it just touch. There we go. And then turn the wheel to get to the next one. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Okay, there's that one just contacting. Now I'll do the third one. So the reason we're going carefully is when you tighten these set screws, they're going to bite into the teeth of the of the axle here, and this ring can actually move ever so slightly in the process. So what you want to do is you want to get a sense of how loose it is now. It's already even tightened up there, just me, just maybe a little bit. Let's take our ring nut and just, just a little tiny bit loosen it. Okay, that's more where we want to be. So what I was saying is these, these set screws can actually tighten or loosen your ring gear as it bites into the teeth of the uh, axle. So once you get close, you want to take then each one and give them, you know, maybe quarter turn. Go to the next one. We're trying to be symmetric about this. You can uh, get them a little bit off kilter and, and you also don't want to cross thread anything or, or, or strip your nuts, your set screws. So again, you can see that this is tightened up a bit, but it's not bad. If it turns out that it tightens up too much when you're doing this, what you need to do is loosen the set screws and take your, your you know, big ring nut here and loosen it a sixteenth of a turn, make it just a little too loose. And then when you tighten the set screws, it'll tighten it back up again. Sometimes tightening the set screws will loosen this. Depends on where they sit on the teeth. And that's the case if you find that you have to tighten it just a little more than you want and it'll loosen up when you tighten it. So I'm pretty happy with how this is. I might adjust it one more time off the screen. But once you're happy with it, go ahead and take each of these and tighten them back up the rest of the way. Finally, we have our right ascension setting circle. And it just slips there. If we go back, we had 
the little thumb screw that went with it, and that goes right in this hole that you were using for adjusting the set screws. Now the setting circle, you can actually put a little bit of grease on it, but don't need very much. Just take a little tiny bit and run it around. And uh, even that much was probably too much. I might just take a slight rag and just run it around. You just want the slightest bit. It doesn't really turn very much. And then one location, there's a hole here. You can line that up with the set screw. That's used for locking it in position. There we go. That kind of locks it in position. Now, when you loosen the set screw, this can then turn and you can tighten it down and set it again. So this is kind of a zero position that's used for polar alignment and things like that. But um, if your instructions have you rotate this, you can just loosen the set screw and that becomes loose and you can adjust it and the set screw will then lock it in place. Finally, we have our polar alignment housing. If there was a polar alignment um, viewfinder in here, it'd be in this place, but this just screws on. Now that's back. Okay, so we have the two axles completely put together, but we don't have any worm assembly on here. We don't have the clutches on either place. Uh, let's see what else we're missing. I think that's it for now. And then the, the uh, azimuth and altitude adjustment down here, which can be done at the end. That doesn't affect anything. So let's stop here. And in the next video, we will finalize everything. We'll put the worms on. I'll show you how to adjust them. We'll put in the clutches. We'll put in the rest of the accessories, and we'll be back up and running.